Hello, comic book people of the world. Let's talk about independent graphic novel Deadweight, Murder at Camp Loom. This is written by Terry Bloss and Molly Muldoon while being illustrated by Matthew Seeley and published by Ani Press. I'm in love with the hero. graphic novel is fairly unique. There's a group of kids that are going to a weight loss camp, and as you can guess from the title, a murder or a couple murders take place. There's a couple key characters who are the protagonists, both the counselors and the campers. Each of them are quite unique, and I can't really pinpoint which is my particular favorite, but I am happy that they are very diverse. The murders taking place are the catalyst to get these characters together, but there's a lot more to it than that. The whole story itself is wrapped up in a mystery. There are certain clues here and there if you pay attention to them either in the background or what the characters are doing. Doing. I'm really happy that Matthew Seeley did kind of put some of these clues so that the reader can figure it out themselves. There's a couple gay characters that are also involved in this, one of which is Ben, to which one of the writers, Terry Bloss, let me know that that is his favorite character in the book. Although I should say that their sexualities really don't play a huge component in the overall story for this graphic novel. It is a very cute, whimsical book, and I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I did. It's not a difficult read in any respect whatsoever. It is, however, approximately 179 pages, but that's including all of the after thought and the in-between chapter pages as well. Not to mention that we also have a couple extras like a camp blueprint so that you know where everything is located and a few character bios of the main heroes and villains. I say heroes and villains but these aren't really heroes and villains whatsoever. These are just antagonists and protagonists. Some of the characters do play up to certain stereotypes but overall I do feel as though each of them really kind of are unique and they don't have anything too negative being portrayed. There is one character by the name of Tony who I think a lot of people would relate to. He's addicted to social media and his online life, so giving up his cell phone and laptop was tough. And I could even see myself go through withdrawal not having any contact with the outside life for months while being at this camp. Like I said, this is a very cutesy story, and I think it's well balanced how everything turns out at the end. Obviously, there is murder in this and a few other adult themes, but I feel like it's more like in the young adult section, so that most people could probably enjoy it. If anything, there's a lot more campiness to it. Ah, see what I did there? No pun intended. I gotta say, though, there is an overall positive message for it as well. I can't go too in-depth with it, because I don't want to give away any spoilers, but I do think it is a really fun read. If you're interested in ordering this book, it's available at simonandschuster.com. The team that created this book will also be at Emerald City Comic Con at the Omni booth available for signing. So let me end it at that point. Check this book out when you get a chance. I think you would really enjoy it. And with that, thank you guys for watching me in this video. I'll join you with another one very soon. Check out my Patreon site, my social media sites, my websites, and everything else out there. Peace, love, and I'll stay and I'll see you guys later. giving away any spoilers, there was one part of this book that I felt really sad about. It was more of like a prequel story that led up to the actual story taking place, but still that little prequel portion I felt really horrible for one of the characters.